Hi everyone, it's Melody. Thank you so much for joining me back on my channel. I am extremely excited for today's video. I've been wanting to do a what I ate video for years and years and years, and finally, this is my inaugural what I ate video. I've watched dozens of these on YouTube, and you always have this thought, who cares what I ate today? Well, people actually do care, which is why these videos on YouTube are so popular. If you are brand new to my channel, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video if you like it and want to see more. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this and leave me a comment so I know what kinds of content to keep posting on here for you guys. If you like the video, let me know. If you didn't like it, let me know as well and I'm happy to take your feedback. Before I launch into my what I ate today, I do want to share a story about how I got into being interested in what people ate. In 2006 or 2007, I somehow came across this book that was called Everything I Ate A Year in the Life of My Mouth from Tucker Shaw. He wrote this book where he basically took pictures of every single thing he ate for the entire year and posted it in a book where he posted the time where he ate it. And it's a really cool way to follow his story through the year by just looking at his food photos. So I'll show you a few of the photos that we have here. So here's one where he documented everything he ate. And I mean, this just got me really interested and curious about what people are eating. He eats a lot of cereal and he also even did a recap at the end where he talked about how he ate 19 steaks throughout the year and four eggplant caponadas, 37 pizzas. That's a lot of pizza. I was really fascinated by this book and after that, I've always been interested in what people are eating. So here you go. This is my very first what I ate in a day video. I'm starting off my day with a small bowl of fruit salad. It's just about a cup of fruit, maybe less. There are apples, oranges, blueberries, grapes, and I threw in some extra blueberries on top. Oh, and bananas as well. This is actually left over from a potluck we went to last night for Rodney's choir through his church where he is the organist. And we had a great time. I brought a giant fruit salad and this is what is left. So that's what I'm having for my first meal of the day. I am snacking on a super ripe banana. I love bananas like this because they are extra sweet. I know some people don't like bananas when they are this ripe. If I have too many that are really ripe, I cut them up and I stick them in the freezer and use them for smoothies. For our lunch, I'm making a quick fried rice. Last night at the potluck, we had these leftover kebabs that are beef and lamb. They were delicious and there were dozens and dozens of leftovers, so we were sent home with some and we cut them up and put them in a quick fried rice. I'm scrambling some eggs to put in there and then here are some veggies. I will show you the final product when I eat it. It is lunchtime. I'm having a bowl of my quick fried rice that I made. As you can see, I put a little smiley face of ketchup on top. I love putting ketchup on my fried rice. Let me know if you do that as well or if I'm the only one who eats ketchup with my fried rice. In the fried rice, I have the chopped up leftover meat from last night's barbecue potluck, sauteed onions, carrots, and I chopped up garlic to put on there as well. I also always have to have a green in my fried rice, so there's spinach. I didn't have any other green except for spinach, so that's what I used. There's also Asian curry powder, and on top of that, my secret for my fried rice is using coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. It's a little bit healthier, a little bit less sodium, and that's what I use as a soy substitute, so it's a soy-free fried rice. There you have it, that is my lunch. I am craving a snack, so I'm having a bowl of the skinny popcorn. I've never actually had it before, but it looks pretty healthy, and it's only 39 calories per cup. This might be more than a cup. And if you hear in the side, there's Louie. He always comes over to the kitchen whenever I am getting a snack. Never fails to head over here and wait for his own treat. I'm still hungry after my popcorn snack earlier, and since it's super hot today, I am making a smoothie with organic hemp protein powder and chocolate flavor. It is super delicious. I love eating hemp seeds. I took some of my frozen bananas that I talked about earlier. I put about a banana and a half in the Vitamix and I'm gonna put a little bit of water and then I'm gonna blend it right up and I'll show you the smoothie when it's done. My smoothie is finished. I'm about to enjoy it. I put it in a little mason jar. It is about two frozen bananas. I added a little bit more from what I showed you earlier. A big spoonful of the hemp protein powder and some filtered water. I will show you the ingredients on the protein powder. I'm usually not into protein powders because they have lots of chemicals and preservatives and things that I cannot pronounce. This one is just organic 
hemp protein powder, organic palm sugar, organic cocoa powder. I'm guessing that the protein powder or the powder is just hemp seeds ground up because there is literally nothing else that was stated in the ingredients. And if that's the case, I'm okay with that because I love hemp seeds. I think they're delicious and a really great source of protein. So I'm gonna enjoy my smoothie on this hot day. And as you can see, Louis is just relaxing in the middle of the room on our nice hot San Diego day. It is dinner time. It is so hot in San Diego right now and I didn't feel like cooking anything. So I put together a refreshing salad. There is spinach, there is leftover chicken that we grilled the other night. And then I have chopped up yellow bell pepper, carrots, and sprinkled some almonds on top. My favorite bell peppers are the yellow ones because they are the sweetest. So that's what I'm having for dinner. I feel like I had a pretty healthy day, probably because we overate at the potluck yesterday and because it was so hot, so I didn't have a huge appetite. I do want to mention that the salad dressing is a homemade honey balsamic dressing. I love homemade dressings. I feel like they taste so much better than the ones that are store-bought in the container. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my salad. There you have it. There's everything I ate in one day. Depending on the day, my eating habits are different. The day that I documented was a day where I worked mostly just from home. Sometimes I'm out at meetings, sometimes I'm going to events, but this is a typical day for me working from home. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you like the video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment letting me know any other videos you wanna see or if you like this kind of video. That way I know to make more of these videos or less of them, but yeah, I think I'm just excited that I finally launched my What I Ate series. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Melody, and I will talk to you next time.